So we have some heroic pro-life activity happening today. There are four individuals on the inside uh, right now counseling women to hopefully not kill their babies. This is called a Red Rose Rescue. Say so we've got people out here praying. We've got uh, others here. Tom Riddell, a good friend of mine. Pastor Moss. Good to see you, Pastor. Thanks for coming out. Well, we are at this moment conducting a Red Rose Rescue at the Northeast Ohio Women's Clinic in Cuyahoga Falls. We have four rescuers inside the clinic right now, including Father Fidelis Moshinsky of the Franciscan Friars of Renewal. The youngest Red Rose rescuer ever is also in this clinic, uh, Audrey, okay. uh, who was my student. <laughs> the killing is halted. Right. And they are not going to leave. Right. And if the if the uh, if they're asked to leave, they won't. They won't. No. The, and why is it? Because <laughs> even if even even should women c still decide that they are going to uh, murder their unborn children, truly at that point, the unborn child is abandoned. It's an abandoned human being. Which is the name of your book, by the way. Which is the best pro-life book ever written. But. <laughs> Thank you. Just a side note. Um, we have to stay with them. We will stay with them, and as long as we're there, they're protected. They deserve at least that much. No matter what ultimately happens to them, they deserve that much. And so we, we, we remain in solidarity with these victims. We will not leave them. Thank you. All right, so we have one of the rescuers being brought out right now. Christian, come on over here. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Come on over here, Christian, come. Come on. So over here, come on. So this is Father Fidelis. He's been removed from the facility for rescuing. Um, come over here, Christian, if you would. All right, so. Okay, here comes someone else. All right, come on over here. All right, she's going straight into the police car. You know her name, Pastor? What's the name? Laura Guys, okay, I'll go, Laura Guys. Now they resist the arrest and just go limp. Again, not wanting to participate in this unlaw in law unlawful action. All right, so. She's there to protect life. She's Brokenheartedness. Look at her; she's in tears over the, over the unborn. Treating her like a common criminal. In a nation that doesn't follow God's law, we become outlaws. Step over here. Yesterday at the Cuyahoga Falls Women's Clinic, which is an abortion facility, there were four individuals from Red Rose Rescue, which is a, a national mission that these individuals will volunteer to stand with the unborn as their mothers take them in to be aborted, essentially murdered. So in Cuyahoga Falls, I what we saw yesterday was four individuals arrested for standing with four unborn human beings by the Cuyahoga Falls police. We were at uh, Cuyahoga Falls, the abortion clinic, which has a sister clinic we just found out in Warrensville, Ohio. So we were scheduled to do Cuyahoga Falls first, and we did. Four people went in, and when they went in, everything stopped. They took the women to another room. In 10 minutes, the police were there. Three, five police cruisers, four people was arrested. I'm Pastor Walt S. Moss, and I have a little booklet called Why I'm a Black Pro-Life Pastor and I stand for the unborn all throughout the nation and the nations. And uh, you know, I love 
babies in the womb because God does. They were created in his image. So I'm thankful today that we had a rally here in front of preterm, the large abortion facility in the state of Ohio, remembering two young ladies, Tia Parks and Lakeisha Wilson, who had died. So God bless everybody. Support your church, support your pro-life pastors in Christ's name. Amen.